Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this and whenever you're watching this, it's good to have you tuning in today for your word for the day. My name is Robert, I'm one of the pastors here. And as we look at some of the measures of a healthy follower of Jesus over these next few weeks, there's one that is maybe the most obvious and that is growing, which is the question of how am I, how are we pursuing a deeper relationship with God? Like any relationship, if we want our relationship with God to grow, we have to get to know him better. We need to know what he's like, who he is, how we interact with him. And the one essential thing involved in that is the Bible. See, if you attend church or watch us online on the weekend, you probably hear us talk about this a lot. We want people to read and apply the Bible. In fact, every week we encourage you to do that. And there's a reason for that. Because we believe if you read and apply the word of God, he will change your life. And there's an important distinction there that this isn't just a book but it's the book and it is the word of God. And the place we get that is 2 Timothy chapter three. Let me read this for you. It says this, it says, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. See, this is the foundation for us as a church, the understanding that the Bible is, are the very words of God breathed out by him into human authors and preserved over thousands of years for us to read and learn from today. And the Bible has an effect for us this way. The, the passage reminds us that it's helpful for teaching, it's helpful for correcting us and, and disciplining us, it's helpful for making us into the people that God created us to be so that we will be complete. I hope that encourages you. And, and let me just encourage you in this moment to, to read God's word. Make it a point to read and get to know the Bible. If you aren't doing this already, let me challenge you to regularly read the Bible and get to know it. If you don't know where to start, read one of the Gospels. About in the middle of the, the Bible is the New Testament transition, and the first four books are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And these are the stories of Jesus' life and teaching. They're basically biographies of his life, and it will help you get to know your Savior better. But if you want to pursue a deeper relationship with God, it starts with reading and applying God's Word. So I hope that today you make it a habit to read and apply God's word and that as you do that, that he would change your life for the better. We'll see you next time, Calvary.